What's up guys, Muzzafuzza here bringing you another League of Legends commentary today. Today we're going to be playing as Poppy, which is one of my favorite champions, uh, one of my most recently played champions, and I've got a, a sweet little gameplay here where I get like 29 kills. I think I only got like 27 of the kills recorded because my PC recording software that I use, DX Tor, it records in like huge file sizes, uh, so if I record for too long and League of Legends games can last like an hour long, uh, sometimes the file size just becomes too big and it has to stop recording because I only have a terabyte of storage on my computer. But, I have a sweet gameplay with you guys with Poppy today. If you're not familiar with League of Legends, I'm not going to go over all the basics, but I will go over uh, how to play Poppy, how I played Poppy, and how I did so well this game. Uh, like I said, this is, a, this is a pretty high kill game. This game went for a while, but I think I played pretty well with Poppy and I, I have a good feel for how to play Poppy. So we're going to talk about that today. So first of all, Poppy, the champion that I'm using, she's a little yordle girl. She's this, uh, she's this little midget. Uh, I don't know much about League of Legends lore. I know that she's called a yordle and there's a few other yordles in the game. But yordles are these, these, little, uh, these little midget uh, little person characters. And uh, they're really weird looking, and she's got big old ponytails. I actually have a custom skin for her. I don't remember what the skin's called, but she looks kind of like a, a goth or a rocker chick um, on this skin. And I thought it was a pretty cool skin, and she's got her big old hammer, the Hammer of Demacia. And uh, let's start with her abilities. So first of all, her passive is that any hit over 10% of her health is reduced by 50%. So if she's taking more than 10% of her total health damage, uh, that'll get cut in half. So she's really good at taking damage. She's a decent off tank and uh, she, she has a lot of survivability, especially because of her ultimate, but we will go over that later. Uh, first of all, her first skill, her Q skill, is Devastating Blow, and you see me using that pretty much on every kill here in this game, because uh, that's where you get your big, big damage from. Devastating Blow is a hard melee hit, it's good for last hits, and uh, you want to be using it to get your, your final hit in, to get a kill on somebody. Um, her W is called Paragon of Demacia. It gives you speed and armor and damage when you use it. it it's also, uh, once you unlock it, it's got a passive where if you're taking hits or if you're hitting people, it'll stack up Paragon of Demacia, which increases your armor and your damage, and uh, that'll stack up to 10 times. But when you use your W skill, uh, it becomes max stacks, and it also gives you a little bit of increased movement speed. So the best way to use your W is to use it to uh, uh, gain some speed, to either chase somebody or run away from somebody. You can use it offensively or defensively. And you can also use it to uh, gain a little bit of speed that you need to line up a heroic charge into a wall. Because her third skill, her E, is heroic charge. And heroic charge is only really good if you're hitting people into walls. Uh, if you hit somebody into a wall, it actually stuns them, makes the ability a lot better and a lot more useful. So that's what you want to be uh, doing, ideally, is uh, charging people into walls. There, as you can see, I didn't charge that guy into a wall. I'm already level 18 here, and we already did Baron. So I'm already into my late game uh, poning here, and I actually get quite a few kills. Killed the Annie there. Right now I'm chasing this Nocturne. Going to uh, wait until <laughs> it doesn't look like I have any mana here. Trying to chase down this Nocturne. I think I'll probably get the kill. Oh, I crit, crit, crit. He actually ran into that down turret and had to go around, and it kind of slowed him down. We took him out, and then I took out uh, that bitch, uh, which means I probably should have got all three kills there, but I only got two, but whatever. I'm not worried about it. I have a sweet gameplay here for you guys. And uh, finally, her last ability is Diplomatic Immunity, which is her R, or her ultimate. And uh, really, the most useful thing about this ability is it completely makes it totally easy to tower dive people. If somebody gets low and they're near a tower and there's a poppy nearby, you're fucking dead. If they're a good poppy, and I consider myself to be a pretty good poppy player, I played quite a few games with her, and I won the majority of them and did well in the majority of them, and this gameplay is pretty sweet. But uh, when you use your ultimate, uh, it makes you do more damage to your target. Your target is the only person that can do damage to you. And you basically can tower dive because the tower won't be able to damage you for like the next 10 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever it is, depending on how well leveled up you have that ability. Here I'm using my ultimate. I sh probably shouldn't have popped it there. Uh, you only really need to pop it when you're going to be taking uh, damage from multiple sources. But uh, I don't know why I popped it there. I guess I was just noobing it up. But I kill this guy. He's got uh, some sort of a revive item. And I take him down again with a devastating blow because I have a full damage build. Uh, if you take a look at my items, I've got Trinity Force, I've got Berserker's Greaves, I've got a Phantom Dancer, a Bloodthirster, a Black Cleaver, and then ultimately at the end, I get my Infinity Edge and I just fucking rape everyone. Uh, Poppy is amazing as a, a melee fighter assassin. You can take people down with two hits. I literally two hit some people in this gameplay. If you go back and look at the kills, I, I'm absolutely just dominating people by this late in the game. As you can see now, I've got my Infinity Edge. Come to this guy trying to take red, get a crit, get a crit, get another crit. 
and uh, he gets revived. Crit again for 795. Crit for a thousand. Crit for 414. I'm just getting crits off the Yang. I'm just I'm just a critterus. I'm just I'm a beast. And uh, here I'm. We're up in there, up in their shit. Their inhibitors are down already. We got super minions everywhere, chasing this guy down. Basically two shot him. Come over here, running to defend my team. And I'm actually picking up some minion kills here. But you can tell how much I'm critting. I'm critting like literally every hit or every other hit. There, I just two shotted that Annie. Get raped. Oh, I love Poppy. It's good stuff. I I I just want Poppy in my mouth. And I think here's a nice little double kill. Yep, double kill, rampage killing spree! And that's the end of the gameplay, you guys. So if you want to sign up to play League of Legends, you can use my referral link. It would help me out if we get to 10,000 referrals. I get to help Riot Games design a champion, and that would be awesome. So if you want to play this game, it's completely free to play. Just click the first link down below in the description, and make sure to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook, all that stuff down there. I'll see you guys later.